Psalm 121.7 The Lord shall preserve thee from all ill, from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The hymn now, 244, to the hills I lift up my eyes, says, The Lord shall keep thy soul. He shall preserve thee from all ill. The issue of preservation of the soul is of utmost importance because so much is happening out there. And because a lot of people have not been able to bring their thought pattern together, have not been able to bring themselves together, there's so much depression out there, so much emotional traumatization, so much going wrong. If you go to the psychiatric hospital, you see, especially, there is like more female than male. Too many. Why? Because of life's ills and unable to bring all under subjection. A lot of abuses out there. We are saying here that if you have Christ Jesus, a lot of these ills, a lot of these trauma, depression we give way. Why? Because the word of God will make room. The word of God will encourage you. The word of God will strengthen you. And that which ordinarily should bother you, should disturb you, will not disturb you. So we are saying here that keep your focus on Christ. We are looking at the benefits of looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. The benefits of looking up to him. The benefits of seeing ruggedly, ruggedly focus on him. The Bible's Hall of Fame, Hebrews chapter 11, has the who and who and who and who and who. But after all that, you turn to Hebrews 12, begins to tell you from verse 1, you say, ha, this cloud of witnesses are there, but remove your eyes and stay on Christ Jesus. So we are here saying that when you have Christ Jesus, when you allow him into your heart, the ills, the trauma, he will keep your soul, he will keep your heart, he will keep your emotions safe. You will not be traumatized, not disturbed. Why? Because the word of God will be there to comfort you and to help you and to renew you. So we are here to say that the benefits of looking to Jesus, not be here. If you say it's a human being, and you give them, you say, yeah, the only to him, uh, my Tony tomato, the only uh, maggie in my soup, the only mosquito in my net, all those kind of stuff, you'll be amazed. But life will not de deal with a deadly blow in the name of Jesus. Or in that business deal, sometime back, one of our, our female ministers that is abroad was crying. Say, ah, so, 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 so. So, 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 has my money, has my this, have all the document, have everything, nobody answer. She's there wallowing, a caricature of her former self. But the person that she gave to say, oh, yeah, my party, I have trust in you, I have hope in you. When I need the money, I'll call you, you will help me, the way to be found. Today they are high and mighty, and she's there crying. So many scenarios we can give to you. Or that boy, that girl that you, you thought is an underdog tomorrow, becoming somebody. The list is endless. We are here saying that for every pain, for every trial, for every problem, the answer, the antidote, the key is Christ Jesus. Looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. Say ruggedly focus on him. Don't look to the left, to the right. No, stay on him. He will preserve your soul. He will preserve you. He will preserve your heart. He will ensure that you are not dealt with emotionally or psychologically. <laughs> so you will not all be the same. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> May God help us in Jesus' name. Are you out there already traumatized, depressed, harassed? Are you are definitely that life has thrown you too many blows. 
relationships have wrecked your life and one thing or the other you are in great distress there is an answer go back to him who loves you so so very much go back to him who cares for you go back to him who <laughs> yeah i don't know how to open bible i just i like to speak of the verse I'm, i've already said them severally but wanting to read that it becomes a problem so i could only bible alone i prefer to just offhand we've already given you the scriptures we are here saying that in christ jesus you can never 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 find any disappointment in numbers 23 19 he said has he said it will he not do it <laughs> what did he promise you he will do it for you but human beings promise and fail <laughs> some will say where is it written where is it in black and white when they bring it in black and white say no this is not my writing no this is not my this is not my that but in christ jesus there is safety in christ jesus there is peace in christ jesus that pain that trauma can be turned around i can see everything turning 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 around everything turning around in your favor I do see everything turning, 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 turning around. Oh, yes. Turning around in our favor. All you need to do is to stay focused on him. All you need to do is to stay on Christ Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. And you can never, 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 never know any shame or any distress. No. 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 Even that which the enemy would make to, like, harm you. We turn it around to your favor. We turn it around to your good. And you'll be there smiling and laughing and jubilating. That is your portion and my portion in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So we're saying go back to the word. Go back to the word. Go back, go back, go back to the word. Otherwise, <laughs> I don't tell you, before I did hear those, I go to para. I, I'll just be so, so, so annoyed. In fact, the first Quarrelings I used to have with my husband when we first got married. It's now television. It's black. It's white. Yeah, it's black. Hey, this one. Hey, hey, hey. Then they, they, they enjoy their life doing what they are doing. But we're there arguing until I surrendered. And I don't look at them. I just smile. <laughs> it's like yesterday they were interviewing one of the senators. He was just rigmaroing, rigmaroing. They would ask him this question. <laughs> I said, if you don't have anything, give me the remote. I said, let's hear the rigmarole is rigmarole now. If I not before, it will be quiet. You know, when I know, who don't they laugh? Well, make it then, they talk, make it they hear, with they hear, with they look them. Eh, we don't, they don't sit down there and uh, swag base. We now pray for them. We no longer become angry. We no longer become so, so, so angry. <laughs> One of my hobbies in those days too was to be going by a uh, newspaper stand. If I'm passing, I like to just stand by a newspaper stand. I'll be watching them. You know, not too many now because of the Android evidence on your phone. Come and see argument. They are not buying paper, but they'll be talking. Yay! This one. Ah, yay. Hmm. But now we know better. When you accept Christ Jesus, when you embrace him, we turn everything around. That trauma will give way to a peace. A peace that passes all understanding. John 16, 33. My peace, my peace I give to you, not as the world giveth. In this world, there are trials, tribulations, problems. But in Christ Jesus, when you accept him, you give your life to him. He says, you'll be of good cheer. They will no more traumatize you. They will no more touch you. They will no more give you any pain. No. No. So we are here to say that look up to Jesus. Look up to Jesus. Why should you look up to him? The benefits. We are saying that you no more be emotionally or psychologically traumatized. Thank you so very much. My name is Pastor Mrs. Edith Atake, General of the Sea of Mrs. International. Our tapes are individualistic, but they are a whole. If you pick it as a, a clip, it will stand. Put them all together, you have a whole picture as well. Thank you so very much for streamlining with us. Are you out there you do not yet know Jesus? It is my honor and my privilege to present him to you who can give you peace, who can give you joy, who can make a way for you where there is no way, who 
will give you the enabling environment. <laughs> if you they listen to them, they just say, government cannot give you everything. Government. In Christ Jesus, you have everything. The enabling environment, the strength, the wisdom to go about that which you need to do to be on top. Not to beg, not to go, not to lack, not to want. We give to you. And you will not be traumatized or depressed in any form, in any way. You may repeat after me, say, Lord Jesus, forgive me my sin. Have mercy on me. Simple prayer. <laughs> but very, 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 very powerful because that is the key that will unlock and open a treasure, a world of treasure for you. All round treasure. Once you say that prayer, go get a Bible. Before pastor, before church, before anything, get a Bible. Get a version you can read and understand. Sit and study. Most of the Bibles, if all of the Bibles have Bible plans, they have year, day, month, pick a plan that you like. You can also get a daily devotional that will explain in detail for you and show you explain a part for you i say a part because this is the holy spirit that is now inside of you that begin to break the word better for you as you do that you become engraced embraced begin to enjoy god's riches at christ's expense you will not lack you will not want your life will be different you begin to blossom go back and read some jeremiah 17 from verse 5 verse, verse 5 to 8 we have looked at because you now have a shift in your thinking, there's a paradigm shift. You find out that you know more, you will know more. Put your hope in man as you put your hope in him, you begin to blossom, you begin to grow, you begin to prosper. And are you are there, you say, I, I put my hope in him, I put my trust in him, but this and that and this. Hold on, <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. The doctor, before he begin to wear white and put stethoscope and the worker, they make young for what done. I've spent years in training, years in training, years in training, years in training, paying a price to get there. Every field, there is a price to be paid. So, same in Christ Jesus. Sit and pass your test. As you pass your test, moving on, you begin to have a lot of experiences, a lot of reasoning will change. It's like a dirty water. If you have a dirty glass of water and you, you begin to pour in clean water, you begin to see the dirtiness giving way. And before you know it, the water will be crystal clear. Why? Because the water you are pouring in has removed the dust from the glass. So we're saying here that Stay focused. Don't give up. Don't give in. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> Look up to Jesus. Looking unto him. The author and finisher of our faith. Are you there? We're retired. Don't give up. Recharge. 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 And continue. Thank you so, so very much for still lining with us. My name is Pastor Mrs. Edith Atake. General Vasia, Band of Love Ministries International. On Facebook, we have five vibrant pages. Search the scriptures, nation building, ministers of the truth. On almost all the social media handles, we are there. For YouTube, we have messages loaded for you. Messages that inspire, that give hope, courage, strength, that show you the way forward. Go like, share, subscribe. Thank you. God bless you. You may repeat after me, say, Lord Jesus, forgive me my sin. Have mercy on me. The minute you say that prayer, life can never, will never, never remain the same again. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you so, so, so very much. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. This continence of evil and of mercy never leave us all. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ.